And a couple of little spins up in North Louisiana. This is all in association with that upper low, which brought us the storms yesterday, early this morning. And as the rain cleared out, we saw plenty of sunshine, but that wasn't the front. The front itself actually associated with this system will be moving through later on tonight. The surge of cooler, drier air will move in early tomorrow morning. However, we will start to feel a change through the overnight period and as we wake up tomorrow. Now, as that low kind of settles toward the southeast, it may increase our cloud cover and could bring in a few stray showers later on this evening. It would not be much of anything if we were to see any of those showers, but it also looks like we'll kind of see an increase in cloud cover tonight. We'll wake up with maybe kind of a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow, and then before noon, I think completely clear and plenty of sunshine as we continue through our day on Saturday. Our rain coverage today, fairly substantial, and thankfully none of our official observing stations saw more than an inch of rainfall as that line moved through pretty quick. But at times it was pretty heavy, didn't last for very long as it moved through very, very rapidly, which we needed. We didn't want to see that slow down at all. Right now outside, though, and for much of the day, we've been under sunny skies. Current temperature is 76 degrees, winds out of the west at 16. Once we start to see more of a northwesterly direction overnight tonight, that will be that surge of some drier air starting to move in. Not dramatically cooler, but definitely less humid and less humid than we were during the day today. Our high got up to 78 degrees, so finally for the first time this spring, which is only the third full day, we have been above our average temperatures in the 70s across much of the area 60s though north of the state line so that's where the drier air and cooler air is this will be pushing in overnight tonight again not dramatically so dew points in the 50s so this isn't a surge of real colder or even more of that winter like air we experienced on the first day of spring just more of a pleasant feel for this coming weekend and winds while they're fairly light notice they're a bit stronger out over texas this will We'll start increasing our winds by tomorrow morning more so and really through the weekend we will stay breezy so breezy sunny and very pleasant gorgeous weather on the way for this weekend fairly active upper system which thankfully really did not bring us any severe weather this is that same low we have been talking about since last week finally on the move now as it does so and kind of clears us out we will start with that drier air moving in the stronger front to its north is really what will help to clear us out and bring in that more spring-like feel with the very pleasant weather. Comfortable temperatures both Saturday and Sunday, but also by Sunday we'll start to see the clouds rolling back in, especially later in the day and also by Sunday night we're starting to pick up more of a southeasterly wind. So almost immediately after a gorgeous weekend, the muggy start coming back Sunday night, Monday morning, and then by Tuesday we'll be watching another line of storms that'll roll through out ahead of a cold front. So another front is on the way for early next week. This weekend though, beautiful weather. Mass plans for Palm Sunday, very nice. Increase in cloud cover. Storm timing on Tuesday it looks to be more morning, kind of wrapping up before the noon hour, but still kind of fine tuning the timing of that. It will be associated with a cold front, which will cool us down right through the start of Easter weekend. Sneak peek at Easter looks a little bit warmer, maybe highs near 80, more humid, but as of right now, dry.